So there was talk about this boss not being able to be beaten without being cheesed out. That it was too difficult. On the forums? Or I'm sorry, on Twitter? To the creator, and the creator was going to um, rewrite the final boss of the game. Because it was too difficult. And the guy who has the current best time made an exaggerated video to show the boss's difficulty. Yes, the boss is difficult if you go in with it with no game plan. But this boss actually took me like five tries to figure out. Or way more than that actually <laughs> it took me a whole lot to figure this guy out but once I I'm like all right clearly you can't brute force the thing um well I'll show you what this uh what this sound is. the game sound in this game is way louder than my mic and I can't change the vo the levels so during gameplay, when actual sounds are happening, don't expect me to talk, because I know you won't be able to hear me.
So in this particular uh, in this particular playthrough, I have a lot of the I have a lot of the items. I have a lot of the power ups. So for a hundred percent run, this strategy will work. Period. There's no if, and or, or but. It works. But I'm going to show you the the bug version. I'm going to show you the bug. Uh, there's a, a strategy that, uh, that the current best speedrunner of this game figured out, and it trivializes the boss. It makes the boss so simple, and there was a couple of complaints about it, so the creator said they're going to patch it, and then the person who found it the best, the best player in this of this game right now uh, said, "If you patch that, then there's no way to beat this boss." And I said, "Yes, there is," but uh, I didn't mention it. I didn't say anything. And then on the Twitter, it kept going. Uh, the the uh, arguments kept going. Like, you, the boss needs to be changed. I'm taking out this. So here's the bug. Honestly, had no idea about this bug when I beat the game, or this little ledge. I didn't know it existed. Um, and once I beat the game, I finally went into uh, watching speedruns, and I found uh, this guy. I can't, I can't pronounce his name. Um, even if I were looking at it, I couldn't pronounce it. But I know who it is. Uh, he's he's really good at the game. Uh, He's very good. Like, I was planning on speedrunning this game, and then I saw him, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not beating that. That's too good for me. <laughs> and you know I'm up for a good challenge. But, uh, Keith, I, on one of his, uh, on all of his speedruns, I saw this ledge being abused. And it trivializes the boss. It really does. Like, it really does trivialize the boss, but at the same time, should it be there? Should the ledge be there? Uh, 
people who um, started played the game, who only played the game like one time and don't do any research on it. Sure, it, it's a hard fight. Don't get me wrong, but every fight there's a trip to it per se. This is my trick to the final boss, and it works great. But then again, I am overpowered. I'll, I'll keep showing my inventory every time I do it, show you what I have. I don't have all the weapons I would really want to. I'm sure there's other weapons that would make this fight even easier, but uh, the way the Kilver works is... Well, I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm standing in the corner, the left corner, and I'm doing that. And as you see, as I hit, if I shoot it and hit up, you see how it follows me right there? So I get, so it goes forward, up, forward, up, depending on how quickly I mash. Well, every single one of those instances deal damage. And tapping up is all I'm doing. Tapping up one. That's three hits, and this weapon deals a whole lot of damage. So that's whack. Triple damage. And then not only does that deal triple damage, but the teleport, that deals damage. So on top of my weapon doing that right there, that's like a whole lot of damage. And these things have a lot of luck. Don't get me wrong. Here, I'll fight these things normally. You can see how much, how much they take. I'll probably die in the process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. All right, it takes about 10 hits from it. Just to kill him. One. Now, this is what happens if I... That's me tapping up while shooting. See how quick they die? There's like no time to take damage. Because I'm, because of that bug, or I'm manipulating the weapon. I'm manipulating the weapon to get so much extra damage on it. are eating my sandwich while I'm trying to explain my fight with this boss. Ugh. 
that took a chunk of bread out of uh, my, one of my cats. I'm pretty sure it was Tink. Took a chunk of my bread out of my sandwich. At least I didn't get the inside good stuff. So I catch who did that. But yeah, that's actually where I got the, uh, the idea was from my Zelda 2 speedrunning. I'm like, oh wait, I can. I wonder if this works, and it happened to work. You can do the similar. Um, yeah, actually, it is. But um, it actually works. Uh, if uh, even if you wanted to stay in middle and have them wander left and right on you, it works the exact same way. If you just wobble left and right, uh, <clears throat> it, it does a hitbox check. Uh, if you wobble left and right as well. But in the corner, they stay on top of you, so you get, it's most optimal to do it there. But as you, if you saw how much damage I was taking, you hardly take any damage from getting hit from these things. What it is, uh, most people are dying from, is not landing hits. Because it takes about eight hits to kill these things with the cleaver. Uh, at least at my power, current power level. But at the same time, even if you didn't have that, just the amount of damage you're dealing just from tapping up and getting the getting those smacks, like I think this strat would be even better if it was possible to turn off your teleporting. Um, I don't know if that's possible, but if you had... Uh, make this strat so strong. But, um, if there was another weapon, a uh, long-range weapon, that dealt more consistent damage, um, uh, I would use that rather than this. But I haven't found all the weapons, so I, I can't really do all the testing, just because I haven't found everything. I'm missing, like, half the weapons. But if you were to find the other weapons, I'm sure there's something else that would be even better for this scenario. Uh, at least in the 100% category. Um, you know, where you actually get all the weapons in the in the average run, you only have these three. Uh, uh, Axum Disruptor, uh, Nova, and Kilver. Those are really the only three weapons you need in the game. Actually, Axum Disruptor and uh, Kilder. But, um, yeah, I was. Someone favorited one of my things on Twitter. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as you see, the, the boss is clearly doable. And, um,. Depending on how aggressive or is solely how much damage you take in this fight. So I'm gonna try this time I'm gonna try to take as little damage as possible by killing them off quickly. Um we'll see what I got here.
so so in that fight I noticed two things um because I was looking for them uh if you were planning to do this game low percent because what it seems like is on every this is my theory at least every spawn of three one of the three drops health at least sometimes two but I think one of the three drops health now if that is the case then you know, you, you can exit you can uh, plan out how much damage you can take another thing I noticed is how much damage I was taking um, it was inconsistent uh, I was taking minimal damage up until the phase three and on phase three I don't know if that was because I was taking damage from the bullets or the sentries themselves um, you know what I mean I don't know which one deals more damage uh, like the Mega Man effect you want to get hit by the bullet or you want to get hit by the robot master that kind of a thing well I know in X2 you want to get hit by violin and not his ball I know that much but um there would be that but as far as completely revamping and rewriting this boss I'd say please don't bother that, that's a waste of time for what this game was aiming for this game was aiming for a particular look a particular feel and a particular gameplay and it achieved all of that and because of that I feel it is a masterpiece and people are complaining over difficulty that isn't there strictly because you have to, these three weapons that uh, are the two weapons that I'm using there are two of the three weapons that is mandatory to beat the game you will get these three weapons regardless there is nothing and then there's health power-ups and uh, damage power-ups in the route already not nearly as much as I have right now but it doesn't matter the amount of the way the strategy works you're still gonna slot it. it started on its own I didn't do it I just don't feel that an entire rewrite of the final boss is necessary. Like, at all. I was actually using this weapon. Um, think uh, Super Metroid. It's basically like a plasma beam. It goes through all enemies. I was using that originally um, because I know it goes through all enemies. It hits multiple enemies. And then I figured out uh, Cleaver was better. <laughs> and I started using that. But Cleaver deals twice as much damage as Axum Destructor already on top of on top of the uh, jackhammer effect is what I'll call it so Mr. Hat if you're watching I really hope you do or watch my archive it's not needed the, what you made is a really good puzzle it's a very, very, very good puzzle. Um, 
even if the third wave is going to deal that much damage as it just did to me every single time, that means it's going to be another one of those mother brain rainbow, uh, rainbow beam effects where you have to have uh, three health energy tanks in order to beat the game. That's all it's going to come down to. Uh, as far as routing, maybe it'll add an extra minute, if that, to go out of your way and grab an extra health tank. Like, one extra health tank. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's really not necessary. Uh, what everyone is complaining about. It's just not necessary. And you shouldn't feel accountable either. It's What you made is right. Don't change it, please. It's a great puzzle. If you take away the ledge, it's a fantastic puzzle for people to try to figure out. That's all it is. But that's all I wanted to achieve with my stream. I said I was going to stream 8, 8 o'clock Eastern-ish. I did. I showed it's possible. I've crushed this boss. I don't know how many times already. And it's consistent. It doesn't fail. Yes, again, I am overpowered. I know I am. Uh, I know I have seven power-ups, but uh, I think in the speed run you have three or four. I've only watched it a few times, like three or four. Uh, but the way the jackhammer effect works, it won't matter. You know, you might take one extra hit or two extra hits per wave, but it doesn't matter. You're dealing enough damage, it just doesn't matter. So please, please, don't patch it. And I doubt Mr. Half is go through my archives, but just... There's no reason to fix something that's not broken. If you want to leave the ledge in there, cool. That gives players an easy way out. If you want to take it out, that makes this one hell of a puzzle. And then you have people like me who don't want the easy way out and want to figure it out for themselves. So, what you have here is a great opportunity for people to experiment with. This is what I came up with because I don't even have all the weapons. And I actually saw there was an auto fire weapon. In some speed run I saw, uh, or no, it was a collecting all weapons video. Weapon showing all the videos and uh, there was one of like, uh, it's just like action disruptor. I don't know how much damage it deals, but it's an auto fire like super fast uh, with really good range. So it may be in, in the 100% all weapons or 100% uh, category. It, it may be cleaver and then that weapon uh, would be the best, but I don't know which one deals more damage, like uh, per hit. That could just be simple testing by going around to enemies and saying like, okay, this enemy takes this number of hits from this weapon and this number of hits from this weapon. Which is more, you know, figure out the fire rate and it's just simple testing. That's no problem at all. But... What people are complaining about is something that they shouldn't be complaining about. If you got a game back in the uh, original Xbox and PlayStation 2 days and before, whatever you got, you got. If you didn't li like something, Tough shit. You had to adapt. Get over it. You know, it's... I'm very passionate when it comes to the community. Especially a speedrunner of all people. A speedrunner that wants to start... Wants... That takes the forefront and says, If you're taking out this glitch, you need to rewrite the boss. A speedrunner of all people to jump on that when speedrunning is all about adapting to the problem that we have at hand and solving it to the best of our abilities. 
it just drives me crazy when someone from my community does something like that. It's not about nerfing. It's not about buffing. It's not about patching. It's about adapting. I stole that straight from that fighting community t-shirt because it's true in this instance. And I posted it on the SDA forums, that exact same thing. It just drives me crazy that... I, oh, I can't reiterate it enough. I just... I care too much about... something that's this great. If that makes any sense to anybody. I know there's only four people watching this right now, but... I'm venting, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna finish eating now. Of the four people watching, does anyone have any thoughts on what I just said about my rant and about my demonstration here? If you think I'm wrong, tell me. I'm curious. I want to. I want other people's opinions too. By the way, a whole lot of these items are skipped in the speedrun. If you've played this game, um, I would highly recommend um, watching the current uh, best time. Um, both routes, any percent and um, hundred percent. It's really good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's really good. The guy, uh, his 40 some odd minute one, the first one that I watched, there was a lot of mistakes in it. It was very sloppy. But, he definitely brought his execution level way up to par. He did a fantastic job. I'm not hating on him. Uh, the guy that's spearheading, uh, the guy that's spearheading the uh, we need this to be patched thing or need this to be rewritten. Um, the only thing I'm hating on for is complaining about something that he shouldn't be complaining about. The whole idea is you're given a problem and you solve it. It's not about oh my god it's too easy I want to be able to beat it without thinking. I want to play this game with the walkthrough. I want a story. I don't want a game. I don't want a challenge. I want someone to hold my hand the entire way. That's what I'm complaining about. The guy made an indie game, and indie games are supposed to be hard. If not hard, at least challenging. To, at least to some degree, they need to be challenged. The whole purpose of wanting to play a game that reminds you of the older consoles. It's the reason why I have three shelves on my bookshelf of nothing but older games. It's the only reason I bought this. Because it reminded me of the old Metroid and the other games I've played in the past.
with that, my rant is done. Um, I'm gonna go back to my filthy casual gameplay. Um. I don't think anyone wants to watch my casual gameplay of casual games. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the boss one more time with my strat just to do it. Oh, uh. The current speedrun has, I believe, half of my health right now. Roughly. can say there's no need for it it's just people aren't solving the puzzle that needs to be solved the only flaw the one and only flaw you made in this game is glitching the water that is the you know the spot i'm talking about that is the one and only spot you screwed up in <laughs> as far as creating the game there's the only spot and if it's not a screw up, then I just have no idea where that particular solution was taught prior. That is the, if there's a valid explanation to it, then you didn't screw up at all. Mr. Hap, that's who I'm talking to. Mr. Hap is the creator. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. But if there's a good explanation for that, then you made a true 100% masterpiece. If it was a goof, that's your one and only goof. Because the story in this game is hilarious. <laughs> I, my favorite one is um, where he comes in and is like, No, Damon, Atheos says kill. I am Atheos. Don't kill. Really? No, no, no. Kill. <laughs> that was good. I love it. That was my favorite part in the whole scene. <laughs> Everything that I've... The whole story. <laughs> I love it. And I'm beyond fear. You got some good stuff in here. The story was well told. Good hints left throughout. Actually, as I was getting some hints, I was trying to piece it together. I was way off. I wasn't right. 
and then I pieced everything together once I got more story. It was a great game. Don't change it, please. Um, I'm sure there's other strategies to be found. Um, probably better ones. Uh, probably faster ones. But this one works. You know? And as far as the low percent category, I don't think you're going to have the grapple hook. No, you're not, not going to have the grapple hook. Haha, -ha, I can beat you. Um, uh, there's just... I just don't see a reason to fix something that is clearly not broken. It's just people aren't looking at the problem from an objective point of view. They're not experimenting, which is what this style of game is about. Especially when you have so many freaking weapons. Holy crap. I didn't even count them. I just know there's a whole lot. I think there's like 30. But, or... 24 or 30 I don't know how many I don't know how many rows I know there's three rows of something but just don't have that redneck mentality and keep adding shit till it's broken if it ain't broke don't fix it that's all I want that's all I'm asking and I know other people may not feel the same way but it's just dumb that Three people, well, I don't know, maybe you have, you've been getting more private messages or messages from other areas of the game, or other uh, sources, but from what I saw, there was like three people in that thread, in that Twitter thread, that completely swayed you to rewrite the game, rewrite the final boss, and the way it works, it's, it works. There's no reason to change anything. I don't know about hard mode. <laughs> hard mode's supposed to be hard for a reason. But, uh... And, again, if it's harder, we'll adapt to it. Speedrunners adapt. Casuals, they don't play hard mode. If they do play hard mode, then they're not a real casual. <laughs> um, but... To the... To the players that this really strives for, nothing needs to be changed. That's all I got. Have a good night, everybody.